so let us start the chapter indeterminacy we have two types of indeterminacy one is static and second is kinematic in static indeterminacy our unknown will be forces and in kinematic indeterminacy my unknown will be degree of freedom one thing which you should keep in mind that in indeterminacy or in structure moment is also a force okay so whenever i say force so uh, in static indeterminacy i mean this moment is also a part of the force so by indeterminacy we try to find out whether the structure is stable or unstable and we also find out which of the method we should apply so i will take first static indeterminacy in static indeterminacy <coughs> i take it as si so if si is zero it means structure is stable and solvable by equilibrium equation means by using my equilibrium equation i can solve the structure if si which is static indeterminacy is less than zero then structure is unstable and third if si is greater than 0 structure is stable but additional equations will be required to solve the structure so i will be requiring additional equations to solve the structure so this is about static indeterminacy now for to find which static in uh, which, uh, we will use the method we have to decide between static and kinematic so if static indeterminacy is greater than kinematic indeterminacy then i will apply the methods in which my unknowns will be the degrees of freedom and if static indeterminacy is less than kinematic indeterminacy then i will apply the method in which my forces are unknown we will discuss these in the coming uh, videos now let us take the first in in uh, static indeterminacy so it is a formula based first thing second in numerical uh, we mostly get objective questions in engineering services also and in gate also and all uh, in gate we have get static indeterminacy up to today as a one marks so time becomes a factor and a little bit of basic knowledge so the static indeterminacy can be defined as i plus e where i is my internal static indeterminacy and e will be my external static indeterminacy what does that mean it means that by only applying the equilibrium equation if i am able to solve the structure then it is externally indeterminate if i require additional equations to solve then it becomes internal numerically internal static indeterminacy is equal to m into number of closed loop in a structure so the clo so what is my <coughs> i so i is internal indeterminacy internal indeterminacy is m into number of closed loops so if for a two dimension m is 3 and for three dimension my m is 6 for three dimension okay now number of closed loops closed loops what does it mean it means that if i have a structure like this with a beam here then my number of closed loop will be 1 similarly if i have a structure like this then my closed loop will be 1 if i have like this also 
then this will be my second closed loop. So this is internal indeterminacy. External indeterminacy is given by F. So what is F? F is the number of unknown reactions. What is U? U is the equilibrium equation and R, R is the any additional equation that will be required. Now let us take one by one. For hinge, F will be 2. For roller, F will be 1. For fixed, F will be 3. Okay. Now coming to the static equilibrium equation, U will be 3 for 2 dimension so for 2D and it will be 6 for 3 dimension. R is any additional equation which I will discuss when we will be doing the numerical part. Okay. Now what are these 3 equations? These 3 equations are summation fx equal to 0 summation fy equal to 0 and summation mz equal to 0. These are my three static equilibrium equations for solving the two dimension. For three dimension we will get fz equal to 0, uh, fx equal to 0, fy equal to 0, summation mz equal to 0, summation my equal to 0 and summation mz equal to 0. Now let us take the numericals. So the first numerical it is quite simple calculate first of all f so hinge gives 2 f and react, uh, roller gives 1 so this is 2 this is 1 f becomes 3 u for 2 dimension this is uh, for 2 dimension it is 3 so e is 0 hence beam is statically determined means I don't require any additional equation to solve this beam that is the first point. Second, this beam is stable also. Now what is i? i will be 0 because no closed loop forms in a beam. So everywhere i will be 0 in these all questions. Now see the another question very quickly. E what will be f? 2, 1 and 1. So this one here, this one here and this 2 here. So this becomes 4, u is 3, so e becomes 1. Now see here, this is 3 and this is 1. So what is my f? f is 4 and what is u? u is 3, so e becomes 1. Now see here, this is 2 and this is 2. So this is 2 here and 2 here. So this becomes 4, u becomes 3, so e becomes 1. In all these 3, i will be 0 since no closed loop is formed. There is no closed loop in all these questions. What will be here? 3f here and 3f here. So this is 3 here, 3 here, 6, u is 3, e becomes 3. So what does that mean? That means that I require 3 additional equations to solve this thing. If I have to solve it by statical method, then I will have to require three additional equations. Now let us take uh, some more examples. So let us take this example. So in this I have 2, 1, 1 and 2. So 2 here, 1 here, 1 here and 2 here. So 6, 3. So I get 3. Now take the another one. Now in this 2 here, 2 here and 2 here. So what is the total? It is 6, u is 3, so e becomes 3. Now there is what I was talking about was internal hinge or additional equation. I was talking about some additional equation. So internal hinge is a point where the bare moment is 0. So if you take uh, any RCC structure and if you pass the reinforcement from neutral axis, let us say this is neutral axis, then at this point the moment taking capacity of the section becomes 0 and that becomes internal hinge because for this loading there is no moment taking capacity of the section since reinforcement passes through the center of gravity, uh, sorry neutral axis. 
so in this part we can say that if moment is zero then i get one additional equation so additional equation is one and what is the thumb rule the thumb rule is the additional equation will be n minus one what is n n is the number of uh, members which are joined at the point or at a internal hinge so we have one member here one member here so my n becomes 2 so what how many additional equation i have n is equal to 2 minus 1 so i get one additional equation now take this question again so 3 here and 1 here so f becomes 4 u is 3 additional equation how much 2 minus 1 because of internal hinge is it okay so 2 minus 1 so 1 so e becomes 4 minus 3 minus 1 0 hence this beam is statically determined which means i don't require any additional equation to solve this beam. now let us take another problem now in this problem i have 2 here i f 1 here so 3 u is 3 r is 1 because of this so e becomes minus 1 hence this beam is unstable this is a mechanism okay now see the next one so f is 2 here 1 here 1 here and 2 here so what is my f f is 6 now this gives one additional equation because only two members are joined okay so this is 1 and u is 3 so e is 2 so i have to need two equation to solve this now let us take the another problem in this i have three equations here three uh, of the forces here so f is 6 now my additional equation this will be one additional equation because two member are joined and in here two additional equation because one member two members are joined so one additional equation so my reactions will be two so what will be e e my e will be 6 minus 3 minus 2 1 now let us take about the frames in the frames also we will do the same thing which we have done in this so what we get so we get in this frame f 2 here and 2 here okay and uh, what is my i i is 0 because no closed loop is formed and what is this i have written it directly this is u this is f so f minus u so 4 minus 3 1 i is 0 so static indeterminacy is 1 now take the another case f is 2 1 u is 3 so e is 0 so i is 0 hence this is a stable structure so this is a stable structure now take the another case f3 here 3 here u is 3 so i get 3 i is 0 so i get the additional uh, indeterminacy as 3 now in this 3 here this this is f this is u now i make a correction here this will become zero so degree of freedom will be uh, sorry uh, static indeterminacy will be zero now let us take uh, another problem let us see in this question uh, f will be three here and two here and u will be three so i get e equal to three two and uh, uh, u is 3 so e becomes 2 i 1 closed loop here second closed loop here so i get 2 into 3 6 so my total degree of indeterminacy is 2 plus 6 8 come to the next one in next question in this if you see 3 here 3 here and 2 here so how much 3 plus 3 6 plus 2 8 minus 3 because of u so i get external indeterminacy as 5 2 closed loops 
so internal indeterminacy is 6 and 5 plus 6 11 is the answer now if you see this question and uh, before that we take this question also so we have f3 here 3 here and uh, u is uh, minus 3 this one u is 3 so total external indeterminacy is 3 but because of this internal hinge i will be having external uh, additional equation which is 2 minus 1 because two members are joining here so 2 minus 1 1 so i get one additional equation no closed loop so i is 0 so i get a reduced uh, external indeterminacy because of this internal hinge and external indeterminacy is 2 now let us take this question so in this e is 3 here 3 here 2 here and 2 here so this becomes 10 u is 3 so i get 7 7 is external internal i have three closed loops 1 2 and 3 so internal will be 9 and what are the additional equation three members are connected here so 3 minus 1 that is 2 is the additional equation i get at this point now two members join here sorry three members join here so again i get additional equation which is 3 minus 1 2 so how many additional equation i get i get four additional equations so total indeterminacy will be 7 plus 9 minus 4 which is equal to 12 now friends there is a another method to solve this uh, static indeterminacy in quick way <coughs> which is known as tree method in the next video i will be discussing the tree method and a three dimensional uh, static indeterminacy as well as i will be solving some indian engineering services uh, questions also feel free to whatsapp on this number for any doubt or explanation required gives your thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe my channel thank you